Will the First Minister provide an update on what steps are being taken to better empower women as part of the delivery of the Welsh Government's commitment to improve support for women's health? Improving women's health services is one of my priorities. Key to that is listening to women and acting on what they're saying they want from health services. The views of nearly 4,000 women have formed the basis of the Women's Health Plan, which will be published in December. Um, I, um, this month marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month and last month was Gynecological Cancer Awareness Month, both of which are personally important to me. 19 years ago, my mum was diagnosed and treated for breast cancer thanks to a breast test Wales programme in Wrexham that found it in early ductal stage. She wouldn't have known otherwise. However, just four years later, she was eventually diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Later on, after reflecting on family history, my mum requested a genetic test and found that she had the hereditary BRCA2 gene. I initially went to see an NHS genetics counsellor when I was in my early 30s, and whilst I didn't feel personally in a place to take things forward then, because of my family history, I qualified for early screening, and when I did have a scare, I was put through the system at pace. In 2019, my personal circumstances had changed, and with the support of my mum and wife, I decided it was the right time for me to take the step to get tested. I was referred by my GP to the Rex and Myler Genetics Clinic, and the service I received was incredible. In fact, my own journey stopped there as the results came back saying that I did not have the BRCA2 gene. I had mentally prepared myself for what the next steps might mean and be for me, but I will never forget the look of relief on my wife's face when we were given the news. However, I'm painfully aware that it's not the same outcome for everyone. So, briefly, Nidog, I know you will understand this remains important to me, and can I ask what the Welsh Government is doing to ensure that those that may be impacted in the way I've outlined can make an empowered choice to keep control of their own life at a time that is right for them? And will you work with me to raise awareness and availability of the importance of this deal? Well, thanks, Hannah, and thanks very much for sharing your mum's story and your story, which is not easy uh, in an environment like, like this. And uh, please send on my best regards uh, to your mother. She, like many others, have recovered, and there are very many, and I think we should celebrate uh, ev every success. But you're quite right. I just think about the pressure that you must have felt going through that screening. Um, and uh, what I will say is that healthcare professionals can refer women who are concerned about their familial risk of breast cancer to the genomic service. And that provides genetic counselling to help people understand their risk. And if necessary, they provide that testing that you underwent. So uh, it is, I think, important that people understand that that uh, is available to people. If there is a risk within your family, then you can uh, ask for that to, to be done. So um, please send on my good wishes. And I hope that women across Wales will hear uh, that the support and the counselling around that very difficult screening will be available to them.